if sure. God exists, probably He doesn't care about what we think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at, the, at, the, at the end of the day, isn't it? Because like the way that I see, that's why like I don't like when people start to give too many denominations. But like uh, I think by being an agnostic, you you're saying that like you don't know. Like how 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 can you tell? You know, like and I don't know if I would if I would put myself in that group. But like I think in my Catholic up, upbringing and then becoming someone who would oppose religion and nowadays like I have an open mind and the more I talk to people the more I realize that like the unknown is beautiful not knowing for me is amazing you know I'm, I'm fascinated about like how humans have this beautiful and, and, and I'm intrigued by creativity mm -hmm. creativity is something that really catches my, my, my attention because like where does it come from how do we develop that so like if people like to believe that there's a powerful God or someone sending us message, I think it's cool, man. It's a cool story. I don't like when it starts to get into uh, other people's lives, you know, like when you start to determine what they should do or how they should spend their money or whatever. Like then I think it messes up with the faith elements. But I, I'm with you on that one. Like the thing with like wanting to, to believe in something, you know, like Put, hanging yourself out there, even that beautiful Rick Gervais movie, that the first liar, that is the invention of religion, the, or whatever. The invention of lying. Invention of lying. Mm. That, like that his mom is about to, to die and he goes and he tells a beautiful story so so she doesn't die miserable, you know? Like even, even a guy who opposes, like he has that little thing of saying someone you tell, sometimes you tell someone a story or you, or you like to believe in something and it gives you that peace. 